Welcome to another Tech Help video brought to you by AccessLearningZone.com. I am your instructor, Richard Rost. Today's part two of my passing a form to a subroutine or function or procedure, whatever you want to call it. If you haven't watched part one yet, go watch that first, then come on back. All right, so in part one, we created our on current event here, which calls change background and sends me. Me is the current form that you're on. And when we go and take a look at this, it receives it as F the form and then checks F is active. And then if it's active, it makes it bluish. And if it's not active, it makes it gray. Okay, we want this to now work with other forms. Now, the first problem is that other forms are not going to have is active as a field. It might be something different. It's gotta be some kind of field you wanna be able to check to see if it's true or false. So we're gonna add that in here as another variable we're gonna pass. Now I'm gonna make it optional because I have this, let's pretend you got change background already in use in like five or six different forms. You don't wanna have to go and change all of them. So by making this optional, we can say, okay, optional field name as a string equals is active. That means if I don't specify what the field name is, use is active. So I don't have to change all the existing ones, right? And we'll pretend like, you know, is active is the one that you currently use. So. We'll take field name and we'll put that right here. Now, is it inside quotes or not inside quotes? What do you think? Is it the actual word field name? All right, if it's a field called field name, it would look like that, but it's not. We want is active to go there. So we want F field name like that. This is a variable. The variable has a string like is active inside of it. Okay, so now, our change background subroutine can work with any form. So let's save it, give it a debug compile. Let's come back over here. Now let's go to the order form. Let's just open it up right here so we can scroll through the records, okay? Let's come up top, design view, open up the properties, go into on current and change background. Me is the form and this time we're gonna say is paid is the field name is paid i think that's what it is right let's double check get out of here yeah is paid okay all right so we're going to say change background me is the form you always got to send me there's no way around that one and then is paid is the field name save it debug compile come back out meow let's close it close it open it and there we go and look at that it's working Okay, now the next thing I said we'd tackle is that color issue. It's changed into a blue. I don't wanna use blue, I want the gray. Everybody who's not active should be gray, but I want to stick with whatever color this guy had when it opened. Now, unfortunately, there is no way in VBA to go in and say, all right, I want you to look at the details section and find out what its back color property was. You can't do that at the, at the, mod the four module, or excuse me, at the global module level. What you can do though, is when this form opens, you can have it remember what its background color was and save that somewhere. Now, where are you gonna save it? Well, you don't really wanna save it. I mean, you could save it as a form field. You could save it as a global array. You could put it in a table. There's a lot of places you could put it, but there's one handy dandy place you can stuff it where it's great for, for putting temporary variables and that is a tag property. Now I'm gonna use the forms tag property right there. You can put anything you want in there and it's great for storing temporary information, right? So when this form opens, you're gonna look at whatever the color of the detail section is and save it in the tag property. Then your global module just says, hey, set the background color to whatever's in that tag property. All right, let's see how this works. All right, so in the forms open event, Let's go to events. You can either put it in on load or on open. Doesn't matter. I'll put it in on load. It's right there. It's closer. I'm going to say me.tag equals me.section0.backcolor. Color. Okay. That's saying in the tag property, put the back color when the form opens or loads. Okay. Copy this. And let's do the same thing. Come here, close, close, save it. 
Let's do the same thing in the customer form. Oh, it looks like, oh yeah, okay. I was gonna say, yeah, it's still got that background color. One of the things you gotta be careful is if you change the color in VBA and then go into design mode, mode it might save that in the design. That's not, that's not something you want. All right, so now in your onload event, do the same thing. Put the back color in the tag property, okay? Now we just have to tell change background to read that tag property. So definition right here, instead of this bluish, how do we get the tag for the current form that we're working with? Well, it's F dot tag. That's it. Okay. Save it. Give me a debug compile. Let's close that. Close it. Close it. Open it. Oh, look at that. I got my background color that I'm used to. Move through some records and look at that. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. See? Let's open up an order. Okay. There's nothing in there. Let's go. Let's go to the order form. So we can we can cycle through them. Oh look, it's green and gray. See, it, it's keeping its background color. So there you go. It's pretty easy to do, right? It's just really it's mostly just knowing this nomenclature. It's knowing how to talk to access and, and knowing how you refer to these things. Right, F field name is how to get the, a particular field's value off of a form. Right, that's how you get a section. You can refer to any of its properties, controls, values, any of that stuff using this nomenclature like that. Do you like this stuff? You like learning with me? I got tons and tons of developer lessons available on my website. Check it out. There's a link. I take you from a newbie of VBA programming to advanced developer stuff. I got right now 45 levels of developer classes, I think. And each one's at least an hour long. Some of them are three or four hours long. Uh, we have fun. We, we get into it. Um, so check it out. And if you join as a member, you get a free class. Platinum members can get a free developer class every month after they finish the beginner and the expert classes. So check it out. But that's going to do it for today, folks. That's your tech help video. Hope you learned something. Live long and prosper, my friends. I'll see you next time. A special thank you and shout out to our diamond sponsors. First, we have Juan Soto with Access Experts Software Solutions, manufacturing experts specializing in Access and SQL Server. Juan is a 13-time Microsoft Access MVP. You can check them out at accessexperts.com. Another shout out to Sammy Shama from Shama Consultancy. Sammy is a certified Microsoft Office specialist, and he not only offers access application development, but he also provides one-on-one -on -one tutoring services. So if you need someone to hold your hand and help you with your access project, Sammy is your guy. Check him out at shamaconsultancy.com. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up and post any comments you may have below. I do try to read and answer all of them as soon as I can. Make sure you subscribe to my channel, which is completely free. Click the bell icon and select all to receive notifications when new videos are posted. Want to learn more? Click the show more link below the video to find additional resources and links. YouTube does a pretty good job of hiding it. It's right down there. See this part of the description here, right? The name, the videos up here. There's a little show more down there, right down the bottom. It's kind of hard to find. But once you click on that, you'll see a list of other videos, additional information related to the current topic, free lessons, and lots more. And YouTube no longer sends out email notifications when new videos are posted like they used to do. But if you'd like to get an email every time I post a new video, click on the link to join my mailing list. And you can pick how frequently to get emails from me, either as they happen daily, weekly, or monthly. Now, if you'd like to become a paid member of my channel and receive all kinds of awesome perks, click on the join button. You'll see a list of all the different membership levels that are available, each with its own special perks, including my extended cut videos, access to my code vault, lots of VBA source code in there, template downloads, and lots more. I'll talk more about these perks at the end of the video. Even if you don't want to commit to becoming a paid member, and you'd like to help support my work, please feel free to click on the tip jar link. Your patronage is greatly appreciated and will help keep these free videos coming. I got some puppies to feed. But don't worry, no matter what, these free tech help videos are going to keep coming. As long as you keep watching them, I'll keep making more and they'll always be free. Now, if you really want to learn access, 
and you haven't tried my free Access Level 1 course, check it out now. It covers all the basics of Microsoft Access, including building forms, queries, reports, and more. It's over four hours long. You can find it on my website or on my YouTube channel. I'll put a link down below you can click on. And did I mention it's completely free? The whole thing, free, four hours. Go watch it. And okay, okay, a lot of you have told me that you don't have time to sit through a four-hour course. So I do now have a quicker Microsoft Access for Beginners video that covers all the basics faster in about 30 minutes. And no, I didn't just put the video on fast forward. <laughs> but I'll put a link to this down below as well. Now, if you like level one, level two is just a dollar. That's it, one dollar. And that's another whole like 90 minute course. Level two is also free for paid members of any level, including supporters. So if you're a member, go watch level two, it's free. Okay, want to get your question answered in a video just like this one? Visit my tech help page and send me your question there. Members get priority, of course. While I do try to read and respond to all of the comments posted below in the comments section, I only have time to go through them briefly a couple of times a month, and sometimes I get thousands of them. So send me your question here on the tech help page, and you'll have a better chance of getting it answered. And while you're on my website, be sure to stop by my Access Forum. We've got lots of lively conversations about Microsoft Access and other topics. I have a fantastic group of moderators who help me answer questions. Shout out to Alex, Kevin, Scott, Adam, John, Dan, Juan, and everybody else who helps out on the site. I appreciate everything you do. I couldn't do it without you. Be sure to follow my blog, find me on Twitter, and of course on YouTube. Yeah, I'm on Facebook too, but I don't like Facebook. Don't get me started. Now, let's talk more about those member perks if you do decide to join as a paid member. There are different levels, silver, gold, platinum, and diamond. Silver members and up get access to all of my extended cut tech help videos, one free beginner class every month, and some other perks. Gold members get all the previous perks plus access to download the sample databases that I build in my tech help videos plus access to my code vault where I keep tons of different functions that I use, the code that I build in most of the videos. You'll also get higher priority if you do submit any tech help questions. Now answers are never guaranteed, but you do go higher in the list for me to read them. And if I like your question, you got a good chance of it being answered. You'll also get one free expert level class each month after you've finished the beginner series. Platinum members, Get all the previous perks, plus even higher priority for tech help questions. You get access to all of my full beginner level courses for every subject. And I cover lots of different subjects like Word, Excel, VBA, ASP, lots of different stuff, not just access. These are the full length courses found on my website. You get all the beginner ones. In addition, once you finish the expert classes, you get one free developer class per month. So lots of training. And finally, you can also become a Diamond Sponsor. You'll have your name or your company name listed on a Sponsors page that will be shown on each video as long as you're a sponsor. You'll get a shout out in the video and a link to your website or product in the text below the video and on my website. So that's it. Once again, my name is Richard Rost. Thank you for watching this video brought to you by AccessLearningZone.com. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you learned something today. Live long and prosper, my friends. I'll see you again soon.